Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here it is, chapter 69. Miss Ku and Miss Su. After eating dinner together, Miss Su said, When you are full, go to bed early. Miss Ku, she was like shrinking. I bet she eat a lot. Miss Sue said, if you have any question, just call me. I'll be in the room next to you. Miss Sue, treat her well today. Miss Goo said, she already knew. Well, if this is the first time she went to Miss Sue's house, how did she already know that Miss Sue is behind her room? Miss Sue stand up. She was going to leave, and she paused, and said, Correct. Is Xiao Jing is a psychic now? She can know? Miss Su told her that the element will be filmed in the Y country. I will be there in three days, and she will need to go. Is she going to inform Xiao Jing? Like a wifey thing? Miss Ku remember about the accident, leaving in three days. Well, she was still injured. Miss Ku said it was so fast. Injuries like this, it will take a month to heal. But it looked like Miss Su don't have any choices but to go filming on the white country. The atmosphere becomes solemn. What Xiao Jing is gonna do? Is she going to help Miss Su there? Is she welcoming? Xiao Jing, can you take me to the airport then? Only. Oh, that was really sweet. If Xiao Jing will get her to the airport, and she said, if you have time. Well, what do you think, guys? Will Xiao Jing go to her? What is her plan now? I bet for sure. She will help me sue there. You should have a good rest. I'm going back to my room. That was Miss Su said to her. Now Xiao Jing left on her room. She was alone there. Now, maybe she was thinking of a plan how to help Miss Sue with the injury she has had now. Your food injury is so serious, you will be living again in few days. Now that's what all in her mind now. Miss Ku said, I don't have even a time to rest, so how could I keep going through much trouble? Besides, you are injured and cannot drive at all. How can you send me to catch the notice? Now, Miss Sue will tell her, I asked the driver to go with us. She holds shouting hands. It was like it was assuring that everything will be fine. Now Miss Ku is refusing, the driver doesn't want to do this kind of back and forth, so why don't you just stay at home and rest? Oh, she don't want Miss Su to go to filming. Now, they doing a commotion downstairs. And Miss Su's mom came to eat. See them, it's like they are arguing. Her mom told her, good daughter, I heard the argument between you two just now. You just listen to your good friends and rest at home. Well, it's definitely don't go when you are injured, right? Now, Miss Su's tension is put to Xiao Jing and her mom. It's like she was cornered. And she don't have a choice but to follow both of them, her mom and Miss Ku. Now, she said alright. She's still holding Xiao Jing's hand. 
We school tell to Xiao Jing that will be careful on the road. Now, Misu is really worried about Xiao Jing. It looks like she doesn't want to leave her. Am I right? Now, Misu breathed a sigh of relief. I knew. Well, Misu is really a good daughter. She followed them both. Still, Misu, she was still holding Xiao Jin's hand, but now it get loose. Well, Xiao Jin really needs to leave. Xiao Jin turned her back and was going to leave now. Miss Ku and her mom was left there standing on the stairs. She said, dormitory. Well, on Xiao Jing's place, she lived in an apartment, but for Miss Su, she was living with her friends. Miss Su's mom praised her and said, good daughter. Well, she was really a vigilant daughter, listening to her mom and Xiao Jing this time. Xiao Jing told her mom, that an old photo I kept in my piano room was lost. She was startled when she was noticed it. Her mom told her, where do you think you can pound it? Hey, do you think Miss Ku get it? Just a remembrance or something? Well, I hope it's not. Miss Su really glanced and told her mom in my room. Now this is more exciting. Who gets her photo? Her mom told her, what are you doing with that photo? With an innocent look, no one has been seen the piano room for a long time and photos are gathering dust there. Miss Su told her mom, that's my photo even I lose it. It has nothing to do with you. Mom, you said this. Insignificant things. I bet her mom hide it. What? In the past, when a girl came to your house, did you tell her that you didn't like her? They're talking about Landrui? Well, she told her mom that she don't like it. I think they're talking about Lan Rui, right? She was the girl before Xiao Jin, but it's not clear that they are together before. She filmed her answer and she only said I just like her. Well, she really likes Xiao Jin. What do you think guys? What happened before? Her mom is like laughing her. Are you sure? She raised her eyebrows and she was looking at Miss Sue. It's like she put on the hot seat and asked so many questions about it. And now she was asking her mom if she can accept it, if she was in the girl, because we all know she really likes Xiao Jing. And Miss Sue, I think she will do anything. Wow, her mom is really cool and said it's okay not to accept it. Xiao Jin said no, but they are not still arguing. That's a good sign. That's it, then I'll think about it first and then talk about it. Well, it's really nice, her mother is really cool. At first, she really didn't angry about Miss Su. Last time I told you that you are not allowed to go home to celebrate the new year this year. Miss Sue said, I have already made arrangements and I will definitely accompany you during the Chinese new year this year. Well, what will happen next? Her mom asked her what about her father and sister. 
I will call them later and tell them that I will definitely let them come back for the new year. It's really kind of family reunion. Her mom still looking at her. It's a good sign. And her mom is not angry with her. Her mom told her that her daughter is really good. Well, accepting your daughter who really she is can help Pisu to lessen the burden in the future. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! See you again next chapter.